Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrew. Today I'm going to show you every single unread book that I own because it's 104. There are 104 books in my possession that I have not read and I'm sure there's people who have less than that, people who have more than that. I just I just want you guys to know this is what I own and these are the books I would like to prioritize before, you know, I do not want a endless TBR because as one of my favorite booktubers, Sam from Thoughts on Tomes has said, I have access. You know, I personally, I'm very lucky and I need to realize how lucky I am that I can very easily access a book by simply going to a store or having it show up on my doorstep within one day to a week maybe and there are so many books that I already have in my possession and book buying and book reading are two very different habits as you are about to see. I have organized this my shelves are a little bare so everything that is behind me on the shelves I have read so if you can see it behind me I have read it. But we're going to focus on what I have not read. And because there are 104 books and this book is going to be god awful long as it is, I will not be giving synopsises for the books. There will be no synopsis. I'm just going to tell you the title, maybe the author, but I am going to hold it up. So, I mean, if you want to pause it and see and you can look it up if you're so inclined, I am going to try to organize these by genre. And I will try to say what genre we are in before I start it. If I forget to say what genre it is, then I will I will have it all time stamped. So let's begin with the absolute largest section. I think this is the largest section, but we we'll see. Fantasy. And I have I have grouped many things in this category. I've got paranormal stuff in here. I have anything that is magical realism, like it is all in this section. Anything that I believe from I haven't read them, so anything that I believe from what I know about the book to make it categorized as fantasy. So let's begin, shall we? Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead, Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead, Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead, and Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead, The Princess Bride by William Goldman, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, Blanca and Roja by Anna Marie McElmore, The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale, The Archived by Victoria Schwab, Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi, The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan, the Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan. The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. The Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hotkin. The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hotkin. The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hotkin. Girl Serpent Thorn by Melissa Basherdoust. Ray Bear by Jordan Ifueco. The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. A Universe of Wishes by Samira Ahmed, Jenny Balch, Libba Bray, Danielle Clayton, Zoreda Cordova, Tessa Groton, Kwame Balia, Anna Marie McElmore, Tochi Anyabuchi, Mark Oshiro, Natalie C. Parker, Rebecca Roanhorse, V. E. Schwab, Tara Sim, and Nick Stone. An Unkindness of Magicians by Kat Howard. The Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemison. Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. The self-published version. Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. The Arabian Nights by Musin Mahdi. Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. Piranesi by Susanna Clark. Alana the First Adventure by Tamora Pierce. The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima. The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. And now we will be moving into the mystery, thriller, some horror, but mostly, mostly mystery, a little bit of thriller, and I think one horror, but here we go. A Study in Scarlet and the Sign of the Four by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The Hound of Bakersville and the Valley of the Four by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The Return of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. His Last Bow by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. The Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson. An Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lapina. The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. The Golden Couple by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. Ace of Spades by Farida Ibike-Yamide. Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. Never World Wake by Marisha Petzl. You by Caroline Kepnes. No Exit by Taylor Adams. Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. The Collective by Allison Galen. House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. 
Now we're going to go into two very short sections. First, historical fiction, then we're going to do nonfiction. So, The Book Thief by Mark Zusak. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner. Now for the nonfiction, Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. 27 Wrong Reasons You're Single by Sarah Eckel. The Five Dysfunctions of a Team by Patrick Lynchiani. Vanderbilt by Anderson Cooper and Catherine Howe. Now for what is the third largest section, surprisingly to me, Contemporaries. What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. A List of Cages by Robin Rowe. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. This Song Will Save Your Life by Layla Sales. The Black Flamingo by Dean Otta. More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gornall. A Tragic Kind of Wonderful by Eric Lindstrom. Four Weeks, Five People by Jennifer Yu. In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. Call Me By Your Name by Andre Osman. The Wicker King by Kay Ankrum. Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. The Death of Vivek Oji by Akweke Amezi. Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers. Nice Try Jane Center by Liana Olkey. Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Now we're going to get into what I would consider sci-fi. The Martian by Andy Weir. Warcross by Marie Lu. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. And finally, we're going to discuss some classics. Some are more modern classics, some are older classics. I just feel like they give me classics vibes in a way. Some are much more recent than others, but this is just where they are. Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Holes by Louis Sakar. Paradise Lost by John Milton. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I'm laughing because I know everyone hates this book. The Great Gatsby by Scott Fitzgerald. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. And finally, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. So now I'm just staring at this giant ass stack of books in front of me that has not been read. So from this, I hope you will scream at me in the comments of what I should read that I already own and that you would love to see reviews for, my thoughts on, if you have thoughts on it, if you think anything you wanna know about any of these books that I own, if I should unhaul them, feel free to leave that comment and let me know how many unread books do you own. I will leave my Instagram, Goodreads, and Twitter all in the description for you to check out if you would like. That's all. Have a great day. Bye.